August 18, 2022, the trip home from Texas. The virus had killed a million Americans. It was still mutating throughout the country, though for all intents and purposes, the citizens had accepted it as part of a disturbing new reality. Facts and details about a failed insurrection had been effectively shaded from the eyes of judicial and historical accountability. World War was underway in Eastern Europe, too. The homeless population was exploding. F inflation was soaring. Access to basic health care was under siege, and the Supreme Court had reversed a 50-year-old decision that had established a woman's right to dominion over the affairs of her own body. It was only halfway through the calendar year, but a bloody record for school shootings had already been set. Unprecedented fires ravaged the Southwest and brutal record-setting temperatures enveloped the continent on whole. Gas was over $4 a gallon. In two years, the presidency and both houses of Congress, Congress seemed destined to fall into the hands of fire-breathing reactionaries intent upon banning books and establishing a national religion. Neo-medievals professed more stridently than ever that climate change was a hoax and that the earth was an infantile 6,000 years old. They wanted civil rights stripped from people whose bedroom behavior was unconventional. They wanted the police empowered, corporations empowered, a free press disempowered, flags and statues worshipped, unions busted, voting rights repealed, and pistols planted on the hips of teachers in the classrooms. All of these events, these situations and conditions were weighing on the mind of a lone man with a gray ponytail as he pulled his car over on the eastbound shoulder of Interstate 10 in Louisiana. Across the highway, the yellowy lights of the oil refinery glowed in the hot bayou night. Wisp of steam and smoke curled up and around the illuminated sprawl of towers, barrels, tanks, and piping. Flares of gas burn-off flickered in the oil-black sky. It was an eerie, futuristic tableau, and he could sense the intense nationalistic pressure currently upon it. The demand to cook down into feathery gasoline enough thick black crude to satisfy the veins of a country that was uncompromisingly addicted to it. Well, it's gonna be a long night. It might be a while before you see the light. A day again, tell me now, are you down? Well, are you down to do this thing? How deep is your faith? How strong's your belief? Cause it could be a long night. I mean, this could really knock some time off your clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing. Well, like a melting candle of pain, you're gonna need to burn away every little thing that no longer matters cause it could be a long night I'm talking about your dignity I'm talking about your safety well these are illusions as you will see long before we ever see the light everything you ever cared about all the things you thought you never doubt All of this will be driven out And it could be a long night Yes, this could be a long night Yes, a mighty long night So you better hold on tight Cause it could be a long night 
takes a leviathan of authoritarianism that you now face, my friends. There will be clouds of foreign entanglements and reams of alternative facts. Executive orders will be issued to round up the opposition. Babies will be ripped from the arms of their mothers along our nation's borders. And the rights of women to have dominion over the affairs of their own bodies will be brought into question. And going up against this is going to take courage. And I'm not talking posting shit on Facebook kind of courage. I am talking about real courage. Physical courage, spiritual courage, moral courage. So get ready. Man, this could be a long night. I'm talking about your dignity. I'm talking about your safety. Well, these are illusions, as you will see, long before we ever see the light. Everything you ever cared about, all the things you thought you never doubt. All of this will be driven out And it could be a long night Yes, this could be a long night Yes, a mighty long night Well, you better hold on tight Cause it could be 